where the Jeep, like, doesn't it look like it's just kind of floating right now? Um, you know how, you know how, like, during an event, a race, like, whatever, uh, websites like Pink Bike or Cycling Tips, I don't, I don't know, any of those websites will post photos of, like, pros' bikes, and, uh, there'll be this, there'll be this, like, effect, um, where the bike kind of, like, it's just, like, there, you don't see any prop stick, you don't see anybody holding it up, and it's just kind of, you're, like, How's that thing stand up? Well, the answer is uh, a lot less interesting, a lot less cool, and uh, simply like more archaic than you think. So say you standing there are the photographer and you're trying to get a shot of this bike without something like this being intrusive in the shot to really show off the whole bike. Typically, if it, especially if it's like a pro bike or, or whatever, um, you would stand there and you would set, you'd give like a countdown. Someone would be holding the bike here like this, do a countdown, and then, uh, but then try and catch it before it falls. I'm really bad at it. I don't even know if I got out of frame. Let's tighten it up. Let's put this down a little bit. Okay, so here will be hopefully a freestanding, uh, like still of this bike. So here I am, I'm a little bit out of frame. Three, two, one, and then back in. Like you get, depending on how fast you're shooting, you get like two shots. So you keep doing this over and over and over until uh, until you, the photographer, are satisfied with what you got. Now that process does work, it is effective. You do get the effect of a bike self-standing, no supports holding it up, but uh, it only works for stills. It doesn't exactly lend itself to video obviously, uh, you have to have a second person, which again, hardly lends itself particularly advantageous to what I do here. I'm always alone, almost always alone, and I shoot video, so I need the bike to stand there self-supported without that kind of input. And you, if you like taking pictures of your bike or taking video of your bike the same way I do, you're likely alone, and uh, it'd be certainly nice to have a you know, maybe an invisible third hand instead of, you know, it, sometimes I even use like a drill as a prop stick. Okay, I understand some of you are not gonna be sympathetic to this and you won't care, but whatever. There is someone in the world who is and was sympathetic to that issue and created a solution, a genius solution at that. He made one of these. Now, this is a piece of plexiglass Obviously, it still has the sticker on the back. We're gonna take that off. But this is a see-through bike holding stand that is see-through. So when it's there, like you can't see. It's made by Ghost Sand. It's really, really simple. You pull this up, okay. Here we go. Look at that, you see right through it. Now, you can't even, you can't even tell that it's there, can you? How smart is this? Let's go play with it. Okay, so now you're the photographer again. Uh, me, you, the camera. You don't have anyone with you. Prop it up how you... You wouldn't, you can't even see it. <laughs> and then the bike is supported on its own. Literally, just like that, as a person who shoots video, you are completely free to have an unobstructed view shoot video of of a bike obviously you can see it at a couple spots but significantly less offensive on the eye than uh <laughs> like taking this and leaning it <sighs> like leaning the bike on it this way Having a, having like a, a third stable invisible hand with you um, kind of gives me an idea of like a shot that I think would A, be really cool for the thumbnail of this video and two, I think would just be like, like a cool thing to do anyway. So uh, yeah, I wanna go, I wanna go try it. It's going to involve my BMX and the GTMX, two bikes.
So my plan is simple. Execution is going to be a, a little bit, uh, you know, less so. I want, I want to get a shot of me jumping over the GTMX, where the G like doesn't it look like it's just kind of floating right now? Like the idea is, I want like just a floating shot of the GTMX where no one's holding it. I just keep expecting it to fall down because it just looks like it's going to. Um, and then me jumping, like I just think that would be a cool shot. And that's why I'm here. Colin's here. Colin actually knows how to use a camera a little bit. And I don't, and the battery's dying on this. That sucks. <laughs> it's so windy. We got the shot. Colin says we got the shot. Seen the frame. Battery died. Got the shot. Go stand. Holding it down. Holding it up. You want to get a video of me jumping over it? Yeah, you want to jump it? Better not do it better. <laughs> And that, well, that is quite simply that. There's no, uh, there's not much more that you could say about it than it's a, it's a properly cut, well put together piece of plexiglass that will hold your bike just about anywhere you need. I, I tend to use the pedal. It's this simple. Uh, ghost bike stand. I can honestly, I can truly say I, am jealous. I, I, I really wish I had a thought of this first. This would be a very good product to have put on the spindat.com store, but I'm, I'm like over the moon happy to, uh, to make an entire video dedicated to what I think. Look, you can't even. This video is not sponsored. I know everybody loves to just jump to that conclusion all the time. Ghost Bike Stand is just kind of like a small project taken on on, on Instagram. Anyway, just kind of cool. Very pumped on how those photos turned out. A little disappointed. Um, I didn't give Colin enough credit on the first angle that he wanted to take it from, and I actually think it might have been the best one. It is 6.40 p.m. my time, November 17th. This video is probably uploaded about half an hour after this. And uh, like, I am, as you watch this, if you're watching it tonight, I'm fulfilling orders, I'm printing labels. I am putting stickers in envelopes along with the comic strip. So uh, if you find yourself like antsy or complaining or whatever about your sticker order not showing up fast enough, I am one person trying to make it happen with 150 orders right now. So uh, yeah. <laughs>